Any cough that lasts more than six weeks is a chronic cough, and the cause could be a number of things. But before you get to the cause, it's best to understand what kind of cough you could have. Dr. Giri Dendamuddy is here to help us with diagnosing just that. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Jason, for having me here. Uh, most of the common cough is the most annoying thing for anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are talking about cough is more acute cough mm -hmm. that comes with the colds and everything. That's not what we are talking today. We're talking about a chronic cough that is going on for at least you know a few weeks. Sometimes I see these patients for months and months and years and years. Mm -hmm. And then you look at you know what is causing. Most of the people think you know it's something really dangerous. Right. But most of the time is is a very common thing. So if you took at the look at the age group, the older people who have a cough is an upper airway cough. Upper airway. Upper airway. So what they do is they always choke in here. They clear the throat, they choke. Most common cause is acid reflux. Okay. So they have to do some diet changes. They say, I don't have any heartburn, but the, the pills, you know, that heart, acid reflux medicine help the heartburn, but it doesn't take away the reflux. So that's why they have to do some diet control, eat small meals, and they have a common thing. Okay. But I also see them in my practice because of the nose, nasal congestion, and the drip in the back of the throat. And then the post nasal drip syndrome. And those are the most common thing I see the upper airway cough. But there's lower airway cough too. And that's a separate yeah. thing. Yes. The lower airway cough is a lot, lot more in the children than the adults. I see them all the time for asthma. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I use the word asthma, people think, you know, oh, it is very dangerous. But actually, is asthma is well, can be well controlled. Mm -hmm. So simply, they don't have any weak lungs most of the time they just produce more mucus. So you get a common cold, you have asthma, you produce more mucus than me. So there are so many good medications which are safe to use for years and years without any problem. But most of these inhalers are like a micrograms, not in milligrams. So it can be controlled very well, including children, adults, everybody. So before we run out of time, between the upper airway cough and the lower airway cough, what's the message you want to tell all patients who are, I guess, concerned about their symptoms? Yeah, anyone who has a cough, it is, as I told you, it is annoying, and they have to go and see a doctor, not acute cough, chronic cough, because there are different reasons, as I was mentioning it. Mm -hmm. uh, most common is, is, as I told you, the asthma, or in the adults, it's the acid reflux. Okay. They have to change your lifestyle a little bit, and uh, it is nothing, you know, you cannot be controllable. All right. Well, Dr. Zana Money, thank you, thank you so much for coming on. We're Thanks. always glad to have you here as part of our newscast. We'll be right back with another look at your forecast coming up after the break. Thank you, Jason.